Hi, my name is Victor and this is a training video for the inspector. We'll talk about the pixel counter and the edge pixel counter. Both tools count pixels independent of pattern and clustering. The pixel counter is used to count pixels within a certain intensity range, while the edge pixel counter counts pixels along edges. We'll go over the basic setup and configuration of both tools to get you started. We'll start with the pixel counter. A basic use for this tool is checking if certain areas in an image are of the right size. To demonstrate this, we'll look at this black piece of metal. It should look like this one, with a hole drilled in the middle. If we put it on a white background, it's really easy to use the pixel counter to make sure that the hole is there. We'll simply count the bright pixels in the center of the piece. If there aren't enough of them, we know that the hole is too small or completely missing. When we add the inspection, we'll use the elliptical shape of the yellow region, since we know that the hole should be round. It's usually a good idea to make the region as small as possible while still covering the area of interest, since the difference in percent between correct and incorrect samples will be bigger if we can avoid inspecting a lot of irrelevant space. Let's name our inspection as well. The pixel counter tool is configured in two steps. The first step is to choose the intensity range in which to count pixels. The two sliders represent the lower and the upper intensity limits. The pixels being counted are marked with yellow in the image, so it's fairly easy to choose the right range. In this case, we want to count the bright pixels in the background. The second pair of sliders represents the thresholds for pass or fail. There is a lower and an upper limit here as well, and any number of counted pixels between those limits makes the inspection pass. For our inspection, we want to make sure that there aren't too few bright pixels, so we'll set the pass interval to require enough of them to be sure that there is a hole in the piece of metal. For easy configuration of the thresholds, there is a meter that always shows the current pixel count. Let's have a look at the live image. This is obviously a correct sample, and the inspection passes as it should. However, if we take a look at one where I've covered the hole, the inspection fails as it does not find enough pixels in the selected intensity range. For cases where we're not sure exactly what to look for, but are interested in knowing if there is something present, the edge pixel counter may be a good choice. The edge pixel counter basically works in the same way as it also counts pixels. The difference is that it only looks for pixels along edges, regardless of intensity. This can be useful in several cases. One use for the edge pixel counter is to look for scratches on a large surface. If the tool finds edge pixels where there should not be any, we might suspect that the surface is scratched. Another typical use is code inspection. A printed code might vary as it could be a date or a serial number. Therefore, we cannot use the pattern tool as it can only look for a fixed pattern. Since a printed code often has many edges, we can look for those and make sure that there are enough of them. If there aren't enough, the code is probably incorrectly printed. I'll show this with an example. This text represents a code that we want to inspect. We'll add the inspection as usual. The edge pixel counter tool has one slider that adjusts how much contrast an edge must have to be detected. By looking in the reference image, we'll adjust the slider to get clear edges around the text and not in a white background. When we're satisfied with our edge sharpness setting, we have to decide the thresholds for pass or fail by choosing the lower and upper limits for counted edge pixels. When we try out our setup, we can see that the inspection accepts labels with enough edge pixels even if the actual code changes. Samples are turned down if there aren't enough text printed on them. We could use the pixel counter tool for scratch and code inspection as well, but the edge pixel counter is usually more robust in these cases. That's all for this session. Thanks for watching. Pixel counter tools provide pixel counting independent of pattern or clustering. The two variants, grayscale or edge detection, provide reliable inspections on non-repetitive targets. For more information, visit www.sick.com.